Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going in-depth in the BRDM. We are also conducting a small recon and force mission. Throughout this operation, I'm going to go over the stats, armor, armor thicknesses, and discuss all the units we'll be facing off against, and how to properly utilize the BRDM in a combat situation. Now, if that sounds interesting to you, I left a link down below in the description. It's going to take you to the Serbian Army. A YouTube page I believe of a Serbian army and there's a small training exercise where they demonstrate the BRDM and its usage. Now with all of that being said if you like military strategy tactics and doctrine and seeing it applied to strategy games I guarantee this is the channel for you so make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe. So before we get started let's hit the C key get in our commander's position or at least our first person view and we can see over on the lower left hand corner we are armed with a 14.5 millimeter machine gun and as well as a 7.62 um, millimeter PKT. Now if we hit the shift key we can see we're going to hit the I to illuminate it so you guys can see it a little bit better. We can see that on the left side the KNBT that's for our 14.5 millimeter gun and on the right side the NKT that's for our 7.62 millimeter machine gun. Now we're going to hit the I key to turn that off. One thing to make note about the 14.5 millimeter gun is it has an I believe penetrates 30 millimeters of armor at around 500 meters and 20, 10 to 20 meters at a thousand. That's r I bring that up because that's really important to note. We'll, we will be facing off against M113s that are currently armed with 50 caliber machine guns. So one, we're going to our movements are going to be slow and deliberate. Obviously, much faster than this. But the frontal armor of the BRDM is only five millimeters in thickness. So facing off against a uh, 50 caliber machine gun at a thousand meters in range. The BRDM is absolutely going to get shredded. While its top armor is quite thick, at 14 meters, we are not flying at him like a mushroom. We're facing off against him head on. So what we need to do is we need to approach this position slowly, identify a unit, and immediately gauge our range, expose our flanks to him because that's our side armor has 10 mil millimeters of thickness, and bring back our other force. So if we hit the bring our vehicle to a complete stop, hit the shift key, hit the tab key. Look at that dude doing donuts over there. We're going to bring up our T-72. We're going to hit the shift key. I believe this T-72 has a laser designator. And we're going to move up into our position. So like I said, throughout this mission, it's going to be slow and deliberate. Our BRDMs are basically fancy colanders if they come in contact with the M113s. Remember that the M113s have 35 millimeters of armor. So ideally, our BRDM needs to be within at least two to 400 meters facing down against that 50 cal, which is going to turn us into Swiss cheese. So ideally, they're going to conduct light reconnaissance for us, identify targets, and then we're going to bring up our stronger fighting force. We're going to hit the E key to laze that target. Looks like it's 1,200 meters out, and we're going to put a round right through it, the front of it. All right. It looks like he's still functioning for some reason. We're going to put another round in. All right, outstanding. We're going to hit the right. We are going to switch back to our BRDMs. And we're going to move a bit forward, right? Our BRDMs are extremely fast. They're extremely lightweight, but they are extremely fragile. And like I said, so since we're facing off with NATO, NATO has tow missiles. They have Bradleys with their, I believe, 20 millimeter cannons and the M1 tank. We need to spot these vehicles, conduct our offensive operations before they have a chance to respond or at least provide intel back to the units that have the fighting, the firepower capable of handling these weapon systems. Now we continue to move up along this road, ideally uh, along this ridge line through this valley. We're going to continue to scout, see what we can see, drag our sights over to this left side. As you can see, our flanks currently exposed. Remember, the front is only 5 millimeters of armor, and our flanks are 10 millimeters. And the top, I believe, is 14. All important information. Remember, we're never going to be within range to deal with any sort of M113s or 50 caliber guns or even the Bradley because they're actually going to turn us into fancy pieces of like I said kitchen equipment hit tab tab again we're gonna switch back to our t72 and like I said all our movements are slow very deliberate we have our BMPs over here on standby I would demonstrate the BMP but the BMP if we are not the platoon leader is going to drive separately which means our main vehicle throughout this operation is going to be this t72 we're gonna take the road line just scouting out for any sorts of IEDs anything that's going to come come in our way and cause us any problems overall hopefully that's all been cleared on this recon mission beforehand this mission I believe you can arm both a t man both the t72 and a t55 
We recently ran it with a T55, which is extremely fun, but it, you need to be a lot more slow because all your sights are going to be manually adjusted while you conduct this operation. All right, we're moving through this valley. Um, once we meet up with our BRDMs, we are going to crest that hill with them, identify any targets. Honestly, I don't really like that plan, but we really need to crest this hill with a rapid movement. And I don't want to bring our T-72 up and get shredded by any BR um, Bradleys or even an M1 tank if it's up on top of that hill. If we can identify the target, we can report back and easily eliminate it with our T-72 or even our BMPs with their Sager missiles. I believe the BMPs are also lightly armored, so while this coasts into position, we're going to hit tab a few more times. We're going to get in our BRDM platoon leader, and we're going to begin cresting this hill. So if we hit that shift key, you can't really change the range of the BRDM sight. You kind of need to guesstimate. What I find using is walking, like walking the machine gun, the 14.5 millimeter cannon up, and then seeing when the stars start to fly off the... M113s or Bradleys. And like I said, you're never going to be within range to do any damage to the NATO forces, so it's something you really need to consider when utilizing this weapon system. So we're going to stop just shy of this hill. As you can see, we I don't think I see anyone. We're going to sweep by. Oh, and we do. We have someone, and we're immediately, ideally, we don't want to reverse. It's too slow. We're gonna immediately going to expose our flank. Sorry to the troops we're carrying and we're just going to get out of here. I believe our rear armor is also seven meters and our engine was damaged, so our engine is back there, 21%. No problem, we report back to our units, hit the tab key, hit the tab key one more time. Bring our heavy guns up. We know that there's a unit off to the right, but we also received some fire from the left as well. So our T-72 is gonna slowly maneuver into position. We're gonna hit the shift key. We're gonna see what we're currently lazed at. Looks like we're not lazy to anything. We're going to move up to this hill. Remember, we need to be cognizant of our BMP-2s. They're lightly armored, so if they come into contact with those 50 cals, they will be turned into Swiss cheese as well. BRDMs are currently navigating. Also, we need to make sure they're out of the way of our BMP-1s. Let's see if we're going to make contact right here. He's avoiding. All right. Last time he just got hung up on him and it was extremely strange. All right, continue to, continue to crest the hill and mount it. Obviously, during this time, the NATO forces could have relayed back that they saw a small reconnaissance unit. Remember, we saw someone off to the right, no longer present, hit shift key, drag our sights down, continue to press, move forward and press forward. Shots from the right, or left, I mean. Sweeping, sweeping right, don't see anyone. Hitting shift, getting out, moving forward. There's still shots coming over the top of that hill. I don't see an identified target up there. Yep, target identified. Currently we have our, looks like our Sabos engaged. Hit this vehicle. Looks like we got a solid penetration. Honestly, we could hit the two key. We're taking damage. We need to shred this vehicle. Another round through. We're going to back off. We're putting a high explosive anti-tank round in. That's ideal for dealing with these lightly armored vehicles. Explosion to our left. Backing up, backing up. Hitting C or shift. Conducting a quick little battle assessment. Not quite sure where that explosion was from. Pushing forward. Trying to find a position for that vehicle. To All right, off in the distance, sweep, sweeping left. Vehicle identified, hitting E to laze, target lazed. High explosive anti-tank through the front of that 35 millimeters of armor. M113 has been dealt with. Sweeping right, no targets identified. Hitting the shift key, coming back into third person. No longer receiving fire, gonna, I hear fire, but I don't see fire. Oh, right hand side, sweeping right. Sweeping right, hitting shift. Vehicle up, E delays. High explosive anti-tank through that armor. Gunner still up for some reason. Reloading, backing up, continuing to move. Right track destroyed, outstanding. Vehicle disabled, all because that guy has fantastic legs. All right, right track's been destroyed. Unfortunate, hitting the tab key. 
Switching back to our BMP-1, who's now the platoon leader. BMP-1. Grabbing our BRDM, conducting this small little reconnaissance. We took too long to destroy that M113, but it's extremely unfortunate. There wasn't, I mean, we put two Sabos through one M113, and then we put um, two HEs into that M113. So, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. The BMP-1 is a bit trickier to use. That wasn't really what this video is going to be about. But we're going to push this hill, crest it, see what we can identify. Um, we should have some targets up here on the right-hand side. If I remember correctly, we need to be careful. Remember the U.S. forces. We're continuing to probe these front lines. All right, as we crest, we are going to see what we see. Continuing along the roadways. And we, as we continue to bound forward in this position. All right, village identified off in the distance on the right, as well as a wide opening. So, yep, we're taking fire. Remember, we need to, I always want to re reverse. Come on, let's turn left. Expose our flank, unfortunately. Do a little dirt roll. Little power slide. And just get out of line of sight of that vehicle or anyone who's targeting us. Try and get up on top of this hill, see what we can see and then we'll just pull back. Report back their position, they're in the town, possibly two enemy technicals. Don't have eyes on, didn't have time to scout, we started receiving 50 cal fire. Hit the tab key, hit the tab key one more time. Hit the tab key, get to our platoon leader, which is now this BMP-1. I'm gonna continue to push the objective, see if we can engage these M113s. I don't know how successful we're going to be in this engagement, but we'll do our, we'll do our best. It's been a while since I manned the M113, but I do have a very detailed video about this weapon system. I know those 50 cals are extremely dangerous to deal with. Um, we'll do we have the Sager? We do have the Sager. Sager is a wire-guided weapon system. That sh we should be able to guide at least to the front of some of these vehicles. We'll see how we handle this situation. A bit more stressful. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of worried. All right, once we pass this M113, we're gonna go into first person view and we're gonna just slowly push forward. All right, we're gonna stop. Bring our sights down because we're looking at the sky. Move forward. There it is, identified. Taking fire, taking fire, backing up, backing up. Trying to get out of this fighting position. Bring his sights up, he looks to be Three, four hundred meters. Let's see what we see. Too high. Bring it down. Still too. Oh, actually penetrated the top. That should be an effective hit. Sweeping left. I didn't find any targets. What's that out there? Just a tree. Moving forward. Staying well aware of our right flank. Another VMP, another M113 identified, taking fire, pulling back. Game's getting a bit janky on me. Bring it to 400 meters. Uns Perfect hit. Outstanding, right through that gunner. He's still returning fire. Let's see if we can put another round through. All right. Not quite sure. All right. Hitting the shift key, going back into commander's view. Moving forward. Let's hit tab, conduct our operation correctly. God dang. Those BRDMs, dude. Where did this guy even drive off to? We seem to be stuck. Tab. Shift. These guys just straight did a donut? All right, they drove down into this hillside. I guess that makes sense. I kind of just abandoned them, right? All right, BR BRDM's pushing up the hillside. Um, this isn't the platoon leader, so we're currently manned with one BRDM. The other guy seemed to be stuck. Sweeping left. All right, we're going to move forward, crest that last bit of hill, see if we identify anything. I'm possibly going to take some massive weapon to the face. But we'll do. It. We'll see what we see. All right, seventy. F all right, there we go. Counterattacks over. Oh my God! Every time. All right, 
BRDM is out of action. Switching back to our BMP ones, pulling back. Sorry, dude. Um, if there's a steel B side attempt to recovery, and that is going to be the video, guys. Um, that guy just did a barrel roll, so he's on his own. T72 was lost out due to the tracks. We're gonna hit the escape key. Obviously, we can drive if you want to watch me drive all the way back to this fallback position on this recon and force. I'm not going to waste your time. That's just what would happen. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Small little tutorial. We got to see some action and peace out, dudes.